Welcome back to Fast Break, guys. I get a ton of questions about card grading, and I've done it for a long time, but I thought I'd bring somebody in who's done it way more than me. This is Ross. He's been a regular at the store all for right. a while. So say hi to Ross in the comments section, especially if you know him. So all right. we're going to go through all the card grading companies, and Ross is going to give us the pros and the cons of each one and maybe why he sent certain cards to certain companies. So let's get it started, Ross. First so company. first, start with BGS. For me, I use BGS for a couple reasons. I use it for vintage cards, more like vintage um, baseball, football, some stuff that I think is good, but I want to see the subgrades because um, a lot of these uh, companies don't have any subgrades anymore. You have to pay extra. Even with BGS, you do. Um, but I also send in thick cards to BGS as well. Um, I prefer the the, care, the holders on it for the thick cards as well. They're just nice. They're thick, and you feel like you're not going to break it. Right. That's a good point about PSA doesn't do the subgrades on this stuff. So mm -hmm. you'll get back a 1956 Aaron. You're like, man, they killed the surface. Why? Yeah, yeah. you won't know why it got a certain mm -hmm. grade. So yeah. BGS will show you what you got on the mm -hmm. grade. Well, the subgrades, everything, mm -hmm. um, and it can help you ultimately if you get a good grade and you know you want to send it to PSA. Um, the subgrades will show you if that's a good idea or not. I also use BGS to authenticate cards, um, the autographs, of course. You can use any company for this, um, PSA, BGS. Um, for me, it really depends on what I think the card is going to look best in. Um, it's crazy, but sometimes that silver label looks a lot better on certain cards than the regular red and white PSA label. Um, we have a Bart Star right here that was made out to best wishes to someone else. Um, I collect Alabama, so this was a really cool one that I had to have. Um, it's actually the cheapest Bart Star to ever sell on eBay. I think I bought this three years ago for 40 bucks. And, uh, Good luck finding a Bart Star autograph for 40 bucks now. That's that's fun. So you send it to PSA and BGS. Is there a big price difference between the two to get a card authenticated? Uh, it's about the same price. Um, PSA right now, if you want it slab, they started doing a, doing a new thing to where you have to look up a certain player, and if you want that player to be authenticated, they actually charge you for the player. Um, so I was looking at a card recently to send in of a Erling Holland, a soccer player up there for Manchester City, and to get a card authenticated, the senior itself is a hundred bucks. Okay. So hundred bucks just to get it authenticated, sure. and then another twenty to have it slabbed. Okay. So for me, I looked at that, and I ultimately passed on doing that because it didn't make sense for me. Makes sense. So we sent in. I've got a video. If you haven't seen it, it's on YouTube where a Mickey Mantle was sent in, and it came back authenticated, and it was one hundred and fifty through Beckett. So, kind of gives you an idea of the price there. And is it worth mm -hmm. it? In Ross's case, that my time eyes wasn't. wasn't uh, just based off the profit and what I had into it. Mm -hmm. It was only made fifty bucks. And I said, well, I'd rather just spend that on something else. Sure. Um, then I also have some cards that I am sending into BGS. Um, for me, it's going to be stuff that's, you know, it takes a while to get back, but ultimately it's going to be worth it. So right here, I have a 1992 Muhammad Ali autograph. And what's crazy actually about this card is BGS is the only company that grades these right now. Really? Just Ali or that brand? Just that brand. Okay. No other company will grade it for some reason. It's a legit autograph, uh, but BGS is the only one that grades them right now. Um, I've had some sending some stuff in to SGC before. A 2016 Dak Prescott rated rookie optic autograph, and they didn't grade those either. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's just company changes, so I figured this one would be the best to send to BGS. So next up is my favorite, personally, is SGC. Right. Um, I send to SGC based off of their quick turnarounds. It is $15 right now, um, if you have an account, to send it in, and it's about a two-week turnaround. So I sent this card in because I added it at shows. I bought it raw, and it's a 1990, 1999 Charizard Pokemon base holographic. I'm not a big Charizard or big Pokemon person, but you know it's a card that's always going to maintain value. Everyone likes Charizard. Everyone likes Pokemon. I don't collect Pokemon, and I know who Charizard yeah, is. Yeah, I don't either. This okay. is this is my yeah. only Pokemon card I own. So what the reason I graded it was because I was at a show, and you know I had this guy come in, offer me a hundred bucks. I said, uh, you know, I've got more than that. I'm just going to keep it. I'd rather hold on to it. And he goes, well, it's only worth 120 bucks." And I said, uh, I'll hold on to it. I'll see. Yeah. Well, I sent it in. It got an 8.5. And right now, the last sale on 8.5 uh, SGC Charizard, not even first edition, was $400. So I spent the $20 at the time to send it in and ultimately came out on top of that. So sometimes sending to any company can be, you know, unfortunate. I sent this card in SGC. I did not have good communication with them at all. I ended up sending in a 2018 Josh Allen that I wanted to be graded just authentic because mm -hmm. I knew it had some damage. Uh, but to my surprise, I got it back and it was graded a three, thinking I wasn't going to get a number grade on it. You knew it was damaged. You I knew it was pretty did damaged. Did not want it graded. Didn't want it graded. Just, authentic. just authenticated. You know, mm -hmm. have it. 
And so people didn't question, you know, are they trying to lowball me? I'll just have it as authentic. Mm -hmm. But you can actually see there it's damaged when Panini put the jersey in there. Just right there is a crease. Yeah. But sometimes you can't help the damage. And I mean, it's I mean the one of four there is pretty sweet. That's yeah, and you rookie. can see you can see this huge crease right through here. You can't. It's not picking up in the camera, but. Trust me, there's a huge crease in the card. <laughs> Big crease. So this is one that I'm going to end up cracking and taking to the National, um, mm -hmm. hopefully this year, and having it replaced. Cool. Um, so along with SGC, with the two-week turnaround times, um, I have a couple cards that I was going to show you to what, I'm, what I would be sending in, what I am going to send in. And why you're going to send And why I'm going to send it in. Yeah. So right here, I have a Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen. These are actually from the 2022 Austin Grand Prix uh, Circuit of Americas. This was a promo pack that Topps gave out that had four cards and had a complete set of the 20 drivers. So for me, to get these back in two weeks can be one of the first graded cards of these. And there's no other ones out there. These maxes were doing about 100 bucks um, out of a free pack for a couple of weeks after that. Right now they're about 80, so I figured, you know, I'll spend the 20 bucks, get it, get it authenticated, get it graded, hope for a 10, and hopefully sell it, you know, for 200 bucks or so. So, basically... If you're looking to flip a card, you want to use the card company that's mm -hmm. going to take the least amount of time, especially somebody that's hot, like Jordan Alvarez for the Astros, right? Everyone knows how well he did in the World Series. You want to flip it, and you and, can't wait three to six yeah. months to get your card and back. And speaking of someone that is hot that I would turn around and do that with right now would be Jalen Hurts. You know, oh, he's sure. having an MVP year right mm -hmm. now out of 25. And if I send this PS PSA or BGS, you know, it could be six months, yeah. a year until I get this back, and, you yeah. know, he could tear an ACL or whatnot. Mm -hmm. But it's always good to just have it back in two weeks and just get it done with. So, like a PC card that you know you're going to keep forever, you're going to go with the grading card company that you prefer over anything else, something that you're wanting to flip. Mm -hmm. SGC is the way to go. Now, you have an SGC account, so the whole thing with SGC for us as a store, because we do BGS, is if I want to send something to SGC, I give it to Ross and Ross sends it off for me. I get it back in two to three weeks and then I can, you know, sell it if I need if I need to. So yeah, I do it all for thing. do it for yeah. my buddies. I don't charge mm -hmm. anything. I charge what it sells for. I just charge, you know, two dollars for shipping insurance because mm -hmm. I kinda realized that when I went to go ship a thousand dollar cards, insurance was about sixty bucks. Yeah. Uh, and I didn't realize that. So we had to figure that out afterwards. That's a big thing. We haven't really talked about that insurance thing, too. A lot of people are trepidatious about sending a $1,000 card through the mail, mm -hmm. and they and they have every right to be. That's that's a We've only had one incident in 15 years with Beckett, but it's a possibility. It could happen. So insure your cards, guys, for sure. And if you are worried about sending certain cards over a value to, um, over the mail, I always use, if it's about $500 or more, I always ship with FedEx or yeah. UPS. Mm -hmm. um, just a lot safer, you know, they have more accountability for it than the post office. And I'm not dogging the post office. Sure, but... They're great, but I, you know, you have more insurance and everything like that with them. Makes, makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. uh, so the next company uh, for me is PSA. I like PSA. I They have the most value. So right here, I have a 2011 Upper Deck Exquisite Michael Jordan. Uh, it is a seven, but this set, exquisite, you know, upper deck is very fragile, mm -hmm. right. and you know, you can pull a case, you can pull a card, brand new, and it could be a six. Um, you know, this one is never going to lose the value. Not even the grade or anything is going to affect it. Yeah. Um, I actually only have two hundred bucks into this card. Yeah. I pulled a Fernando Tatis autograph from a five dollar pack from you guys, mm -hmm. and a I bought a Shohei Otani autograph for one hundred seventy five dollars. Traded that for a 1986 Fleer Michael Jordan rookie and a BGS 4.5. And then I saw that the star rookie was being graded by PSA and then made a decision. Well, you know, I don't want to hold on to that in case it, you know, goes sure. down in value because mm -hmm. it's not signed or anything. Yeah. Um, ended up trading it for this and 100 bucks on top of that. And ultimately, I think I've come up on top. Um, I would not let this go for anything under $4,000. You know, it's only worth probably three. But it's a Michael Jordan autograph, and I don't yeah. want to see it leave. Yeah. Well, now, you kind of touched on this a bit. The grade doesn't matter so much mm -hmm. with a card like this with what's well, autographed for one. But for two, the print run on these were incredibly low. So a lot of the times, a seven isn't necessarily a bad thing. So you're very well within your rights to say, I'm not letting this go for anything less than four grand. And if mm -hmm. anybody tries to convince you otherwise, for all the reasons just stated, go find another one, bud. Yeah. Yeah. It, you know, some sets have very bad print lines, very bad edges, just coming straight out of it. Um, so exquisite for this, I know that there's only 
four or five higher in this. Mm -hmm. So I'm not too worried about it, and there's no tens. The highest is a nine. That's probably another video that we could do down the road, too, is talking about population reports and where these uh, large increases in value go, like uh, the Jerry Rice you saw earlier. An eight to an eight five is huge. Mm -hmm. It's a huge jump. So that has to do with population report. So if you have questions about that and want to see that video, you know, Toss, you know, toss it down in the comment section and say, I'd like to know about POP reports, and we'll be sure to do something with that. Yeah, as well as, uh, so just like BGS, PSA also authenticates autographs. Um, and I live about a half mile from Springfield Cardinals, so I'm always there trying to get stuff signed. And I always prefer PSA um, to authenticate the autographs. Mm -hmm. I just think the cases look nice, uh, especially with the red and the red for the color Cardinals match. color match. Oh, yeah. um, it's 20 bucks, takes about four or five weeks to get back mm -hmm. um, so you know don't send something that you're gonna want to sell immediately sure and so like for me Jordan Walker was an easy send and wait because he's a Cardinal mm -hmm. he's gonna be a PC because I love the Cardinals and you know it just ultimately looks very nice in this case yeah that's a that's a great card Jordan Walker if you haven't met him in person super nice guy awesome. him and Mason Wynn are mm -hmm. both amazing people yeah that's that's really cool so there's all there's, there's also mistakes with every sending in, you know, taking time. And why I chose SGC ultimately to be my go-to thing for flipping cards is this reason right here. There's two reasons actually, but this is number one. So when I sent this card, this was a $400 card. I got this back when all that came out about steroid usage, everything like that. I can no longer sell this card for under for for over for yeah <laughs> okay i can no longer sell this card for over a hundred dollars or eighty dollars nobody wants it that's crazy so i ultimately spent you know 30 bucks to get it graded and i can't sell it so i took a loss even though it is a 10 just 400 dollars to you know what 20 bucks is what someone's going to give me well if tatis was one of your favorite players it was going to your pc you know who cares but the guy gets ringworm and then you know is uses steroids out of baseball no it's ringworm right i'm joking <laughs> course anyway steroids to cure ringworm we'll put it that way but that's a huge difference um and mm -hmm. it goes back to what we've been saying this whole video is if you're sending something off to get graded and you need to flip it you can't wait three to six months anything can happen jalen hurts you know if he tears an acl it's over yeah you know? so yeah oh then here's another one of my psa fails uh, i waited two years for this one Another one, just like saying, you know, never what their career is going to end up with mm -hmm. me. Yeah. You know, if I could take this back, I would. Alexis Lafreniere was the number one pick in the NHL draft, and, you know, he's been very underwhelming. Well, I sent this in expecting it to be slabbed and graded. You know, I wasn't expecting 10, maybe a 9. And uh, I got it back with a miscut, meaning they won't slab it because it's a missized, miscut. And they still charge me uh, the 20 bucks, 30 bucks to get it graded. And all the card company or grading card companies do that. If there's a question on authenticity, if it's been rubbed down, if it's been trimmed, you still get charged mm -hmm. and you may have never known. Nothing nefarious on your end or anyone else's, just the fact they say that yep. this card has been miscut. And a lot of the times, like for you, it's slabbed. Now you got to bust it out of the slab because there's no way you're going to try to resell mm -hmm. something that's been miscut. It just has no value. So yeah, yeah. it's uh, unfortunate, but you know it happens. And I wish I would have known more about the miscuts happening and stuff mm -hmm. like that, and I wouldn't have sent it. Yeah. Um, but I am still sending some stuff to PSA, uh, with it dropping down to about fifteen dollars right now. Um, takes so, about six months to get back. With PSA, real quick, do you have to have a membership with PSA to submit stuff, or can just anybody send something to PSA? So anyone can send it, okay. but price is drastically different. Right now, there's a thing called um, Collectors co Collectors Club, mm -hmm. and it's $15 for six months to send in, um, where it used to be $50 for six months. Now it's back down. I'm sending this to PSA based off of value. So the last PSA 10 of this sold uh -huh. for $2,000. The last BGS 95 did 1300, so you know I'd rather spend the 15 bucks, maybe wait a little bit longer, sure. but have that chance of being it worth 2,000 um, dollars. And right now, raw last sells about 800 bucks. So for me, the spending 20 bucks or 15 bucks, send it in, wait some time is, you know, like playing gambling, but you know it could ultimately pay off. Well, Lamar Jackson has a longer track record than a guy mm -hmm. like Jalen Hurts, so this betting on Lamar Jackson is much MVP. better than betting on. Oh, yeah. I mean, the guy has a track record, not a... You know, and the price difference is crazy. 
between SGC and PSA. Mm -hmm. So you'd be almost a fool to not take that chance because yeah. the price difference is just so big. Sometimes it's only 15 to 20 percent, but in this case, there's no question I would send this to PSA. And for me, you know, I can wait. You know, of course something could happen. But right now, Josh Allen, PSA 10s, where a guy, you know, that's not even as good as Mahomes, has one MVP, is doing about $4,000. Yeah. So I feel pretty comfortable of waiting. And, you know, he's got an MVP already. So we'll take that. So how much How much do you have in that Lamar Jackson there? I have about 250 into it. 250 Yeah. Got it for You're a pretty good well. deal. You're going to do well with that. But, you know, it's a card I've wanted for a while that I, I love the downtowns. I don't know why. The eye appeal on them is very great. Oh, they're cool. Are they one a case, right? Yeah, they're those? case hits. So now that we've talked about the major card grading companies, uh, you came in a month or two ago. I don't know how long it's been. I'm old, so I lose track of time. But you came in with an incredibly looking graded card from a company that I've never heard of. And this may be, in my opinion, the future of card grading. So it is, the grading brand is called Rare Edition. Um, I've heard that they're actually losing money on the slabs. Um, I've heard they are fireproof, waterproof, and the CEO also said they were bulletproof, but not to try it at home. Um, I but think we should try that. Maybe. I'll send in another card. Okay. So what this is, is a Tom Brady um, 2002 Topps Chrome out of 599 uh, PSA 10s of this are about $4,500. Um, PSA 9s are about 1500 um, this one I've been asking asking 900 bucks on, uh, mm -hmm. but you know I have no reason to hold on to it. Um, I'm not a big Tom Brady guy. Well, I mean I know you can't see it through the video, but look how thick this case is just compared to a PSA case. Um, I mean it's pretty crazy. The it looks difference. like a phone case. Oh yeah, it is a phone case. It's basically an old iPhone. If you're old enough uh, to remember the old S series uh, iPhones, it's about this size. That's an acrylic, right? Mm -hmm. like, Apparently it's called Gorilla Glass. Gorilla Glass, yeah. So they use Gorilla Glass actually on phones, so that's pretty funny. Um, this rubber around the edge, it came like this, mm -hmm. right? came like that. And what's super cool is this barcode right here. You can scan that QR code and it will bring up um, a full pop report. I mean, a crazy one. It will show you what is wrong. It highlights all the edges or everything that's messed up with the card. Yeah. So you know where that problem is. Where, you know, as BGS will show you the subgrades, but you don't know where it is. You can just guess. This one will show you where it is, what's wrong with it, have it highlighted and everything. It also tells you when it was graded, what year it was graded, and you know, I think future of grading would be awesome to have that, just so you have an idea, you know, you can't get someone that's gonna, you know, not copy this, they're not gonna be able to copy it because it has that time it's graded. Yeah. Everything yeah. that's wrong with it to where someone, you know, can't go and take this label right here, uh -huh. make a copy of it, put the same card in there and be like, Oh yeah, you know, it's a ten when really it's raw so counter counterfeit proof basically across the board here mm -hmm. and so we got that tranche of cards back that were vintage a week or so ago and there were two cards that were three and a half and i think one was a five and with no subgrades i have no idea what it is but with a barcode like this i could scan that barcode with my phone pull up and it's going to zoom in and show me the exact parts Everything of the card that's wrong, wrong with it mm -hmm. And that's accountability, and that's the big thing with card grading companies. There's no accountability after it's slabbed and they send it off. It's our word, and that's it. You can pop it out and send it back in. How many times have you popped something out, sent it back into the same company, and got a different grade? Cracked it. How many times have you done that? I've done that four or five times. Um, I sent one card, you know, that was a PSA 7, mm -hmm. came back a 6, yeah. sent it into PSA again, because I'm like, you know, no way this is a 6. Sure. Got a nine and yeah. then held it, but you know I don't suggest cracking because a lot of times it just, you know, you can ruin the card too. I've had oh, plenty sure. of times where I went to crack a card, ended up cutting the card in half, the top of it. I was like, oh, now there That's goes done. my money. That's done. But yeah, it's a huge risk. But I, what I, I think I'm trying to get across here is it's such a subjective thing mm -hmm. when it comes to grading cards. A seven becomes a six, then becomes a nine. And you just don't know if they just had a bad day. Yeah, their girlfriend could have broken up yeah. on with them. Be like, yeah. oh, I'm going to take this card down. Yeah. Just, or they don't feel like they're getting paid enough. Mm -hmm. They had a fight with their boss that day. I mean, there's all sorts of things that can go into a subjective process, such as card grading. So anyway, this really just seems like, like this could be the future of card grading. And I would gladly, gladly pay $75 to $100 per card 
to sin to know exactly what's wrong with it. Yeah, well, even with that, you know, I've never, I just said, you know, cracking is, isn't the best times. Mm -hmm. But I've actually thought about cracking my Jordan just because this is a card I'm going to keep forever. Yeah. You know, these aren't waterproof. These aren't fireproof. Incendiary. Where they say these are. Mm -hmm. You know, what if something happens and mm -hmm. I can have it in that? It could be fine. Sure. Just, you know, take that risk and get in a case where, you know, I might spend the extra extra 30 20 bucks on it well i wonder if this uh, this grading card company if they make it which i hope they do mm -hmm. um i want them to be profitable i want them to make money but um i wonder if we could send this already encased and have them pop it and re-slab it some companies Maybe. still do that yeah. uh, bgs does that psa does that yeah. um but you still have to pay them so if they look at the car and they go oh you know it's not gonna bump yeah they still charge you however much the grading fee was yeah which is which is fine i guess whatever you know i don't really want to mess with popping mm -hmm. cards out of cases i mean my buddy tyler does it all the time and he's really good at it i wouldn't want to risk especially a michael jordan no anyway uh that was hopefully informative for you guys um if you have any questions drop them down in the comment section a like a subscription here on youtube would be great get any questions specifically for ross actually just tag him in the youtube comment section just say hey ross got a question and lay it out ross i'm also also on instagram uh yep. mo underscore cards um, excellent Spelled just like you hear it. I'll put it in the item des or the description of the video there so you can find his Instagram. Uh, Big Car Collector here is always interesting when he comes in to show me what he's got in new. And appreciate your time, Mr. Uh, expert here with Card Grading Ross. Appreciate Thank you, brother. You. Take care. We'll see you guys later. See you at Fast Break.